So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bake these in the oven at 375 degrees. Now, here comes the fun part. Anthony, come on in. Do you have the walnut ice cream? Yes, I do. Come here. You made that? Yes. Can you taste it and tell me how it is? Uh-huh. Hold on now. Let me get you a spoon. <laughs> Can I taste too? Mm-hmm. Can we taste? How's that? Good. Yeah, that's good. To make the walnut ice cream, what you do is you toast the walnuts until they're a nice, toasty, golden color. And then you take the walnuts and you boil them in the cream with the sugar, with the cream and milk and the sugar. And then you blend it all together and strain that out. And that's what gives it the nice color and gives it the walnut flavor. So what we're going to do is I'm going to scoop one scoop, just like this. And see, see how you take the end and you just clean it off a little bit? I'm going to put it in the dish like that. Now, Sam, you scoop a scoop. And Stephanie scoops a scoop. While you're doing that, I'll pull the tart de tans out of the oven. So we're going to start with the banana. The banana. I'm do this is really hot. Okay. And so we're going to flip it right over onto the plate. That. Good. Whoa. That's a very nice. Next, we'll do our blueberry. I'm going to poke a little bit of home. Okay. That's our Good. blueberry. Mm-hmm. And then we have our strawberry. It's just a hard one. So it's going to be good, I think. Strawberry. And these are our three flavored fruit tarts. Of course. Strawberry, blueberry, banana. Now you guys want to taste what you made? Okay. And what I want you to do is I want you to taste it, but I want you to taste it with a little bite of the tart and the ice cream at the same time, okay? Okay. Really good. Mm. Good ice cream. Good walnuts. Stephanie, thank you very much. You were great. This was very this was a lot of fun. Sammy, thank you for all your help today in the kitchen. And where's your brother at? Eating ice cream? Yeah, let's not disturb him. The main reason to cook with your kids is to be able to make it a family experience because I think that dining is very much a family experience and we've been adamant about always taking our children out to eat with us when we go out to eat and and at home getting them involved in it. But I think that the great thing about it is it's something that that they're going to take and use for the rest of their life. If you do it and take the time to teach them properly, it's a skill that is, it's like school in a way. And so why not learn how to do it? It was fun.